Hey, uh, Dell here again. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, reasons why we bought the BX23S uh, subcompact tractor. Uh, we've got about 20 acres here. A lot of it is wooded. Uh, we do a lot of projects around and, and what implements we chose. Uh, I wish somebody would have told me a couple of reasons why uh, when I bought mine. So uh, we're very happy with this. We went with the subcompact because once you go with the compact, it starts getting into a larger tractor. Uh, quite frankly, my wife uh, does not mind you know, mowing. We've got Bermuda grass and this mower, belly mower will get down to two inches. So you can mow your lawn with it if that's what you want to do. Um, and I'll go through some of the other implements that we chose. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and uh, hope you enjoy. All right, so the first option, I think I mentioned it when we first started, was this belly mower. Uh, we went with this, uh, is there's four types of tires, tread that you can get. The turf tire, the bar tire, the industrial tire, uh, and, and one other. We went with the bar tire, which it does not tear up the grass when you're mowing the yard uh, around the property. We have about one acre, one and a half acres of Bermuda so it's good to mow this if we need to uh, and, and it works out well but my wife doesn't mind she'll mow that which has helped me out a lot uh, when we have other projects around the property so we're gonna get the, the BX 23s so you can have this guy right here at first I thought I wouldn't need it but there's so many uh, so many times we need it uh, throughout the property uh, just fence posts and trenches and things and that really comes in handy. So, uh, back up. Okay, in addition to the um, uh, belly mower, the backhoe, we've really gotten used to this, uh, the installation of this third function. Uh, these are the cables or the hydraulics yeah, that you yeah. hook up to the third function for the, uh, the bucket and the uh, operation of of uh, uh, the front end uh, loader, and then this quick connect yeah, here that end. operates all of the hyd hydraulic uh, systems is a quick snap. Uh, it's Make really sure it's, a, uh, a simple feature to, uh, on there. to install. So that gives us on to the third uh, implement that we, we really enjoy and use more often than anything probably is this bucket. Uh, so the quick arms, uh, arm installation, uh, and, and being able to then have the option to use some of the other features that I'm going to show you. But uh, this bucket is, is probably one of the uh, most used. We've had this work done in the front. Everything you do, you need it to stabilize the installation or work when you do it with the backhoe. It's just a, a, a great feature of the BX23. S is the uh, bucket. And now let's move on to the box blade. Uh, it's not as used as much as some of the implements, but when you need it, you need it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll use the bucket and a chain and I'll pick it up. It's too heavy to pick up and move by yourself. Uh, and I, it's a little challenging to install, but you, you work through it. These teeth will drag and plow the dirt, uh, and, and you can adjust these teeth up or down right here. So you pull this. See, we'll use it in this application where we're putting sod down. We'll, we'll drag the, the grass and take those teeth in, in the dirt and roots. It just pulls it right up, uh, roughs it up for you. Uh, so then you, you drag it. And as you see, I dropped the teeth down. There's a the function with the hydraulic third function. Uh, you can drop the teeth down. You could pull it forward and start uh, dragging the dirt that maybe is on a high side. Uh, and see, you could fill up the box blade here and then uh, pull the area that you want to take some top off, uh, drag it. It levels it out really nice. Uh, you can adjust that tumbler as well. Uh, for the height adjustment and then once you get to a low area you see here the dirt then it just leaving it down the dirt will start filling in uh, the holes in the low areas and it balances out. Somewhat 
level. We'll just run over that with the, with the uh, tires once we get it all filled in. Okay, let's move on to, uh, let's, let's do the quick connect and we'll, uh, let's remove the bucket and I'll show you two more implements. Uh, uh, it, I really, we really enjoy the, the ease of just uh, being able to disconnect uh, on one of the bucket. Uh, let's back over here and we're gonna put on the forks. We keep them tucked in here in the back of the equipment barn. Uh, we'll use the forks on uh, a few projects around. If you got pallets, uh, it's quick to be able to lift up uh, wood pieces, pallets uh, with material on them. And, and it lists, the capacity is, is right around 700 pounds. It's right in that area. Uh, then you get it maxed out. So that's all we really have a need for. This is one of the wood panels, stacks of wood that we had around the property. And uh, when we cut trees down, we had them sawmilled. And so we'll go and get this, these pieces of wood and they get up around uh, to a couple hundred pounds uh, until we get them moved over into the shop and it, it's very um, uh, easy by moving it and using the forks. Now let's switch over to the uh, last implement that we have found to be very helpful uh, and that is this uh, grapple. So we'll, another quick connect, but the thing with the grapple is because it's got a, uh, it's, it uses the third function, you have to hook up the hydraulic and what's the purpose of the third function which is already hooked up when we do the arms, and then you just connect the grapple Same to it the here connects, uh, to the front the uh, with the hi and it connects to the hydraulic systems. So then we can take uh, this grapple around the property. We've right, used it on uh, eight foot tree stumps or tree logs uh, where we brought them and, and we'll saw cut them with the chainsaw and then we'll set it up for firewood if you need to grab uh, stumps or whatever. You use this little uh, button for the close and connect and you can move the uh, the arm same arm you would use for the bucket to moving the grapple forwards and backwards so we'll run around the, the property here for example here we had to clear some of these uh, heavy stumps out of the way and yeah you might be able to roll them around but you, you know it's just so much easier on your on your back and arms just to grab this uh, just to grab them with the with the grapple teeth uh, pick them up, uh, move them over where you need them, get them out of your way. Uh, uh, in this instance, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet away or more and just drop them uh, where you want them. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, those are our six implements that we chose for our BX23S Kubota. And uh, this thing is like a workhorse. You could see it. Uh, we couldn't do any of these projects without a powerful machine like this. It's like the Avatar machine on, uh, 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 that does all the work and just saves you so much uh, back trouble. And uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. If I had to do it all over again, I'd probably buy the same six implements. We have about 300 hours on this tractor. Uh, it, as long as you do the maintenance, we have really just a few little incidental items, uh, probably user error, or we had to do some repairs. We did them ourselves. You just look at the manual and it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, remember to hit like and subscribe. And uh, we're about to get uh, another load of mulch. We had another load of mulch brought in from the tree guys, cut some trees down and chipped it for us and they dumped it here. So we're gonna get the bucket uh, and go spread it around some of our trails. Have a great day.